Yo, it's Herman here. Now, as a filmmaker, you've got to be conscious of a lot of different roles and how they affect the end product of your film. Now, filmmaking is a group effort, but in some instances, you got to fill in certain roles yourself when you're first starting out. So in this video, I want to share my experience as a filmmaker and the five reasons that learning After Effects has benefited me along with the other filmmaking friends that I know. Reason number one is to fix it in post. Don't you just want to slap someone when you hear that? But there are situations where you do kind of want to fix it in post. Like, you know, if you see like a light stand in the background in your frame and you didn't catch it while you were on set, or, you know, you see a blemish on the wall that you want to get rid of. I mean, come on, after watching Game of Thrones, I think the one takeaway was to never leave your Starbucks cup in the frame. And this was one of the main reasons that I learned After Effects myself. Uh, it was to basically avoid using VFX companies and studios because let's face it, when you're first starting out, you don't have that budget. You don't want to spend tens of thousands of dollars on a mistake that you made on set. That's a recipe and never get hired again. And if you're the type of filmmaker that's like me, where I spent a majority of my career being a run and gun shooter, you're gonna be shooting on locations, environments, and situations with that you just don't have control over. That's gonna be a bit of a problem if you see things that are in the frame that you can't move, like cars or people. I mean, technically you can just like tell the people to like chill for a second while you get your shot, but it gets a little complicated if it's like a cop in the background and you don't have a permit. But for situations like this, where it just requires a small fix, you can technically just do it yourself in After Effects and then you can use that portion of the budget onto something else that is actually more worthwhile to do in VFX. Reason number two is to learn motion graphics in After Effects. Now, I've always had an interest in motion graphics design and I already wanted to, you know, incorporate some of this in the projects that I work on. And even if you're not passionate about design or motion graphics and all that jazz, there's still a lot of practical applications that you can use motion graphics for. So for example, one of them being lower thirds, for example, working on like corporate videos, you know, establishing a name and like their position in the company or something like that, or even YouTube videos like this one, and even, you know, narrative films. If you want to establish a location, you just have that kind of like little name tag that's animated on the bottom. You don't even need to be really good at it or learn it extensively. You can just, you know, get templates online uh, from royalty free sites, but you still need to know how to navigate through the software in order to do that. And that's what I did when I was trying to incorporate motion graphics that were really fancy, but I didn't know how to create myself. I just bought templates and learning the basics of After Effects allowed me to use them as tools. Another example would be title sequences. So let's say like an opening title sequence for your film. You know, it doesn't even need to be anything too fancy. Like I said, you can just do some like text on live action footage and it can still look dope. Another example being to animate your call to action at the end of the video. So maybe like a logo at the end. So it doesn't just feel like you slapped on a JPEG on a black background and then make it look amateur. If you animate that, it actually feels more engaging. Now, the third reason to learn After Effects is more for freelancers or people who are in more like generalist roles. Learning After Effects will give you a bit of a competitive advantage because think of it this way, when a client is trying to hire you and they've got other options, what differentiates you from the competition? So picking up a new skill or software basically means that you're bringing more value to your client. And that means they save budget, from you know outsourcing someone else to do the motion graphics. And guess what? That means it's an opportunity to charge more. And it's crazy because for me personally, I develop my skills in After Effects to a point where people are reaching out to me about VFX or motion graphic work, more so over my video production work. So you know, you can always develop a new passion or interest in this area. Reason number four is that learning your After Effects will allow you to bring your ideas to life. You're not just grounding your ideas to the constraints of physical reality. So the question now is not what's possible within the limitations of our locations or set deck, but now, like what can we actually accomplish with the help of VFX? So this expands what you can do in terms of different themes, like things that have to do with supernatural or fantasy or sci-fi. And even as a storyteller, you can tell what's actually possible to achieve if you just know some of the basics by learning After Effects. And then, you know, you can delegate these tasks or ideas to VFX artists that you um, hire or are part of your team. So if you tell them an idea and they say, no, we, we can't do that, you call them out on their BS because you just did a lot last weekend in After Effects. And the work you did may not be as polished, but you'll know that it's at least within the realm of possibility. So even learning the basics will help shift your mindset in a way where it'll broaden the scope of what you know is possible and helps you think a little bit differently. Now, the last reason is if you're considering, you know, which VFX software that you should start learning from and you're already in the Adobe ecosystem because you use like Premiere Pro, then why wouldn't you use After Effects? I personally think it's always best to stay within the same ecosystem because the programs and the features in those programs are 
so well integrated and they work really well together. So for example, I use Premiere Pro a lot to do my NLE editing. And if I want to bring some shots into After Effects to do some VFX work, then I can use Adobe's dynamic linking to do so. That way I don't have to like render out a clip from Premiere and then like import it separately into After Effects. And we're just always looking for ways to save time and just make our workflow feel a lot smoother and a more pleasant experience. So having features like that dynamic linking is just one of those things I don't take for granted. So there you guys have it. As you can see, there are a lot of benefits to learning After Effects from the eyes of a filmmaker, not even someone who's a VFX artist because I have never once called myself a VFX artist despite all the tutorials that I put out on After Effects, having a little identity crisis. Now, although I mentioned five reasons to learn After Effects, there's a bit of a bonus one and it's that learning After Effects can be a nice creative outlet to just you know, have fun. And it's important to have like a hobby or just a creative medium that you can treat as a playground so you can just try new ideas and be creative. There are no real rules to being creative so you can just do whatever you want in that software. It doubles as a really useful skill that you can use in your craft as well. By the way, if you're interested in learning, I do have a beginner's After Effects tutorial on my buddy Josh Alufemi's channel and you can just click the little pop-up to check that out and start learning right away. Now, specifically, if you're a filmmaker, then my friend Yasik has a course called Filmmaker's VFX Guide, which is super dope. And I truly believe that it's got an awesome curriculum if you don't wanna like sift through a bunch of YouTube tutorials and you just don't really know where to start. So if you value your time and you don't wanna go through hundreds of tutorials, then I recommend checking it out. And you can actually save $130 by using my affiliate link down in the description below. And you know what? Actually, let me know which reason has convinced you to join the side of learning After Effects or at least pique your interest in thinking of doing so. Now, if you found the video helpful or you took something away from it, then give the video a nice little like so the YouTube gods will know that it's actually a good video. The YouTube gods are unforgiving. And of course, hit the big shiny red subscribe button and the bell notification if you wanna see more videos like this. My socials are in the description below if you wanna see what I'm personally up to. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.